This is exciting stuff. Thank you all for being here. So we all understand what's going to happen on the 6th of October when the Belleville Senators kick off the existence of the franchise against Laval, the affiliate of the Montreal Canadiens. There's no Montreal fans here, is there? I promised my wife I wasn't going to start a riot today. <laughs> this event is 60 seconds old and I'm doing my best. <laughs> now, all your photos today, the photos you take with the players on the stage, everything, we're thrilled to have you get those phones up there and do what you got to do. We'd be even happier if you'd use a couple of hashtags on social media, okay? Let's blow this thing up. So there are some hashtags we want you to remember. Hashtag, welcome home and the hashtag, it begins. How exciting is that to hear, it begins. And I gotta tell you, I was backstage, I've laid my eyes on this jersey, and I'm super excited, and I know you're gonna be as well. So, let's talk a bit about what's gonna happen today if you're just joining us. The event is now underway. We are thrilled to have hockey back in Belleville and the Bay of Quinty area. We've already seen the logo, it's right up there. What do you think of that? How about a massive round of applause? Yeah. Does that look good or what? Beautiful. We are gonna hear from some really special guests. The general manager of the Belleville Senators is here, the assistant general manager of the Ottawa Senators. His name's Randy Lee. Let's get a massive round of applause yeah. for him. The CEO, the Chief Operating Officer, Rob Maloney is here. You're going to hear from him shortly as well. We will then unveil the uniform of the Belleville Senators. It is still so much fun to say that. The uniform of the Belleville Senators. And then we're going to meet some of the players afterwards as well. We're going to do some draws where somebody's going to win the jersey and the $500 to the Quinny Mall. And we're also going to do that hot stove concept. And I think you're really going to love that. All the guests that we have here today, we're going to line them up on the stage. We're going to talk hockey, arena, uniforms, and we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. So hang around for that and for some photos afterwards. Don't go anywhere. Real full itinerary, and we're going to get it going here shortly. Now, I don't want to drag this up too, too long, but I do. <laughs> I want to tell you a bit about the week I just had. I was out in Alberta for a golf tournament that included some former NHL players. And I bring this up to give you some idea of what having professional hockey in Belleville already has been. Out in Alberta and Red Deer, I talked to a lot of these retired NHL players and I ran into Mark Recchi going into the Hall of Fame this fall. I told him I was from Belleville, he said, you guys are getting the pro hockey team there, aren't you? So nice to hear people talking about that in Western Canada. I ran into Theo Fleury and uh, I said, I'm here from Belleville, Theo, and I haven't seen him since he had his men of hope tournament here. He said, aren't you guys getting the Senators affiliate out there? People know what's going on here, and you folks today are going to be a part of a cool event. And that's the the uniform for the first time. So let's get to it. Our first guest is entering his 23rd season with the Senators. And fifth, as the Ottawa Senators Assistant General Manager, the Calder Cup Winner is the general manager of the Belleville Senators and a massive, massive, massive part of why the Belleville Senators are in this town now. Please join me in welcoming General Manager Randy Lee. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, I just want to say how proud we are to be launching our American Hockey League team in such a great hockey market. This has been a two-year journey 
a lot of hours, a lot of time invested, uh, but now we're getting close to the finish line. And Rob Maloney and his, and his staff are working around the clock to bring this team to fruition, and we're really excited about that. It's going to be a great sense of pride when we launch our American Hockey League team uh, this fall as the Bell Bell Centers. That's going to be a wonderful thing for us. Uh, when we got this idea, we knew that this is absolutely the perfect fit for us. So we left a great situation in Binghamton, New York, to come here. And once we committed to Belleville, the Ottawa Senators have signed an eight-year partnership with Quinty Region, and that's incredible. On top of that, we have a five-year option that will add it on top of that. That's unprecedented in American hockey, I can tell you that. So that shows to you that we are committed to this project and we're committed to this city. We need, we're in 100%, and we need you guys to be in 100%. We need you to take pride in this team, to take ownership of this team, because now this is your team. And it's very important for us, and we're glad that we have this partnership. We're an organization that's built around drafting well and investing in player development. And the Belleville Senators will be our number one player development vehicle. And to illustrate how important that is to us, last season, 26 players, and we had a pretty good team last year. We went three rounds, game seven, double overtime, losing to the ultimate Stanley Cup winners. So we're one goal away, one shot away from going to the finals. Of that team, 26 players that played on that team played games in American Hockey League. And that's an incredible feature. And that's, a, that's important, and that's how big the role is that you guys have. So on behalf of our owner, Mr. Eugene Meldick, the general manager, Pierre Dorian, Guy Boucher and his coaching staff, our players and our fans, we want to welcome you to the Senators family. And I want to say personally that we're entrusting you with a very important role. And you're going to be the overseers. You're going to be the caretakers of some of our most important assets. And that's our prospect. And it's, it's big, and I hope you take that responsibility uh, importantly, because it's important to us. And we think that uh, we're in a great situation here, and I think we, we have the team in very good hands. So thank you very much, and I look forward to a long relationship with you. What you're seeing here, folks, some steps along the way in the development of getting the franchise here. Some shots of the parent company there as well. How exciting is it going to be to see some of the players that are going to be skating over on the revamped yard but arena graduate into the Ottawa Senators program. And as we go along today, you're going to learn a lot more about the process of how Belleville Senators come to be Belleville Senators and then how they move on to become Ottawa Senators. We're going to talk a lot about how many of the AHL players that you see uh, go on to become National Hockey League players and the opportunity that you're going to have to see pro hockey here and then folks are going to be watching on TV and then graduate to great careers in the National Hockey League. Superstars in the making are going to play right here at the Yardman Arena at the Trading Sports and Wellness Center. How exciting is it going to be? You can see on the video the pace of play. And you're going to enjoy that with your own eyes right here at the Yardman Arena.
AHL Brides are getting quite stoned there as well. Would you please welcome Sparta Cat? The best mascot in the NHL. And Sparta Cat. And the kind of sport to play ball. And the fans of all the Senators, gentlemen, for fans of all the Senators today. The entire show is full of play for the greatest fans in the league. Merchandising tent. Oh, Spartacat's got a couple of more. There's always a trick up your sleeve. Loosen it up. Loosen it up. He's waiting for the sign. Spartacat's about to throw a slider in there for all the t shirts. Party's gonna hang on. Oh, 
that's the stuff. Loosen me up here. You didn't let go, thank you. Thank you. you got a lip roller? You look like a guy who needs a lip roller. Who are you he gave me a talking to there. He gave me a talking to. And he's happy to meet the shaker here because Sparta Cat's going to hang around today. So make sure that get the kids' pictures taken with Sparty, Young at Heart. And if you didn't win one of those t shirts, lots of them for sale right over there at uh, the Melville Senators merchandise booth. We are getting closer and closer to the reveal. And our next guest, it's like the nicest guy I've talked to today. And you know why? Because he's a Newfoundland guy. And you can travel from one side of this country to the next, and you're going to meet folks from Newfoundland everywhere you go, and they're going to be the nicest people you meet. And it's a thrill to have him here today. We are so close to the reveal of the jersey. And this guy was an integral part of the brand launch and the jersey design. Please join me in welcoming COO of Belleville Senators, Rob Maloney.
That's a really cool video. How many of you folks remember that day last fall when a massive group of people gathered at the Quinney Sports and Wellness Center and it was formally announced professional hockey, the AHL, was coming to Belmont, Ontario. How many people remember that day? I do too, and it was exciting stuff. And this is as exciting or more, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is what you've been waiting days, weeks, months to see. Time to unveil your 2017-18 Belleville Senators uniform. exciting day and so nice to be able to actually lay our that the white jerseys you see at home National Hockey League fans we all are you know that recently a number of years ago the NHL inverted where they wear the dark jerseys at home that's not going to be the case the first half of the year in the AHL they'll wear the white uniforms at home partway through the season you're going to start to see what's the road uniform now worn over at the Yardman Arena everybody wants one of these jerseys right Yes! And I trust that everybody went over and filled out the ballot over at that booth to win one. Yes! You said no. You know, there's a way you can do that. It's not too late. Anybody who hasn't filled out a ballot yet can go on over there, fill it out. We're going to give away one of those jerseys today. Partners with the Quinty Mall, they're giving away $500 here today as well. So do make sure that you get over there and uh, fill out those ballots. By the way, if you don't win that, and we'd love to give you all one, but you know, a couple of people are going to win one, you can pre-order your jersey, and we'd be happy to have you do that. You can put a deposit down on your jersey today at the Senator's Merchandise booth. That's that one right over there. And we want to see these things in every aisle of the Arden Arena. So pre-order those jerseys. You can put your deposit down over there, and I think you can do that as well over at the arena in the uh, Winning Sports and Wellness Center. Now, it's time to conduct the hot panel discussion. And I've really been looking forward to this, and I think you will too, because I said that we've got some terrific guests. Please welcome back Rob Maloney and Randy Lee. See, I'm not just standing here and talking head. I'm also a massive fan. And it's a pleasure for me to introduce our next panelist. Calder Cup champion in 2011 with the Bennington Senators. Please welcome the head coach of your Belleville Senators, Kurt Kleinendorf. Our next guest, a 15-year NHL veteran, and the player development coach for the Senators, please welcome Sean Donovan. Meet a 
couple of professional hockey players. What do you think of that? There's a couple of professional hockey players standing here and trying to score the 20 ball. And I ain't one of them. Now, hang on here. What side of this stick am I supposed to hold again? From Canada, Ontario, he signed a two-way contract with the Ottawa Senators, Canada Day 2017. Bulls 31 points, welcome Ben Sexton. Played in the OHL for the Gulf Storm and the Kingston Frontenacs. Remember that rivalry? Remember that rivalry? You remember that rivalry, don't you? We were off to such a good start together, too. Over his career, he's played pro games in the NHL, the AHL. All right. So there they are. I'm not sure if this is a load-bearing speaker, but this is kind of the casual part of the event, guys. Now, and I emceed that event, and I looked Mr. Melnick in the eye, and I said, you know what? Right until I walked in the door here to this event, I was a Leaf fan. It's funny how you're able to check that at the door. And so I was out west playing. It bled red. I think it's happening to me. I'm becoming a Senator fan. That's... with you, Danny and Ben. You're wearing the jersey right now. How's that feel? Pretty nice. Bunch of colors. Oh, pop up. That's nice. The breeze nice too. You got a sweater under here. That's awesome. Uh, anytime you get to put on these colors, it's uh, obviously a privilege. Uh, they do a great job with them. They're really sharp. It's so nice for us to be able to not just see the jersey, but see a couple of the guys who we may very well watch play. We can very well see you guys put that on for real. They're not only hockey players, though, but you're fans to a certain degree, you know, the jersey you might prefer over the other. When you actually look at the jersey, give me your thoughts on the jersey itself and the look that this organization has chosen. Yeah, I think you nailed it uh, with uh, how clean it looks and like how classic it also looks. But I'm a big fan also of the patch here with uh, obviously the boat and the city in the background. I think you guys did a really good job. Well, and I'm glad you brought that up because there's been a lot of talk in the press because right over your shoulder on the screen right now it says, inaugural season, there's the City of Belva logo in there, 17, 18, and Belva Senators. Some of the conversations we had before the event really got going, we'll talk more about the uniform, but it's about this being a regional team. We're going to play out of Belva, but there's an appeal, and maybe I'll turn to you on that, Rob, if you don't mind grabbing the microphone. And talk about the regional appeal of having pro hockey here. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what we said right from day one. And, and to be very honest with everyone here, unless we're a regional team, it's not going to work. We need the entire Bay of Quinty to get behind us. And the good news with that is our season ticket base is really strong. And 85% of those fans are from the Bay of Quinty. But from an organizational standpoint, we believe our actions speak loud and happy. Wherever people want us to go, we're going. And it's something we take a lot of pride in, and uh, we're going to work very hard at it to make it happen. Good stuff. Round of applause. Terrific answer. <laughs> Guys, Danny, Danny, I'm going to turn back to you for a minute. You're wearing the jersey. How does it feel to be a part of this organization? I think it's, yeah, I think it's awesome. I think the jersey kind of ties in the whole, work, the whole organization together. You know? in your experience so far being a part of not just the whole Senators organization? Yeah, it's been great. Uh, I was since July 1. Um, I was born and raised in Canada, so I was always the Suns fan growing up. And it's kind of the Suns have kind of been really good in my heart. And uh, just being able to be around the rink and uh, be around some of the guys that are here in the summer and uh, we have this great some good work at Being in the league period is a privilege. When you grow up being a Senator fan, and on Canada the day you signed a two-way contract with the Ottawa Senators, and I can only imagine, I hope you took a moment that day to kind of soak that in, breathe that in. Yeah, for sure. I uh, was uh, some friends and family, and um, to be honest with you, I didn't really sink in that day. It kind of took a couple of weeks to kind of pinch myself and go where it was for real. Welcome. I'm going to turn to you and ask you the same question, Danny, in terms of uh, your thoughts on being a part of this organization. Yeah, I think you just touched on it. Like being growing up in Ottawa, it's kind of almost like a dream come true. Uh, signing with the local NHL team, so 
It honestly hasn't really sunk in and almost today. We'll turn to the coach. Uh, yeah, you sure can. We're really excited to have these two guys. Um, both these guys had offers to sign with a number of teams. And we're happy they, they selected us. Uh, we go after guys who are high character guys, and both these guys are tremendously high character players. We're excited to have them part of the organization, and their goal is to play in the National Hockey League. I mean, these guys are that close that they they know that they might play games in the NHL, but their ultimate goal is to earn a spot in the National Hockey League, and they're excited to have them on board. It just seems like it'd be a great fit for my for family. Uh, three kids and a wife, and we're based in Kingston. And, uh, you know, it just seems like there's, there would be an opportunity at uh, both levels. So I think um, over the course of my career, I thought I've gotten better and better and better. And being goalies, we tend to be a little bit of uh, great bloomers. So I think I'm just really starting to hit my peak now. And uh, I think it's a, it's a great fit, uh, not only for myself and the family, but for the city of Alabama and Ottawa. Good stuff. Yeah, I mean, for me personally, um, it was all an opportunity and uh, going where you wanted. And uh, talking to me and management, um, I felt like I was honored. And, uh, you know, you go where you can trust people. And I'm just really excited about the opportunity. Well, you boys look terrific in the jerseys. Let's give another massive round of applause to Danny for Danny. Coach, time to talk a little hockey. You know, it, it, it's exciting to see the brand, it's exciting to see the jerseys, we're all having fun, but for you this is about what happens on the ice. And as much as there's a transitional period between Bennington and here, you've got to have an eye on hockey, so what's your expectation for this team this year? Well, my expectations are that, you know, we want to put a team on the ice that's going to win a lot of hockey games, I mean, that's really where it starts. But the American Hockey League is an interesting league, it's got an interesting dynamic because it's not just about winning, although we are committed to winning. We have to develop our younger players to make sure they're prepared for that next step. And at the same time, we've got to develop our guys so when they get an opportunity, it is a great hockey league you're going to find to be very entertaining. But at the same time, along with the winning, there are a couple other dynamics that we have to pay attention to. Welcome to Belleville. Yeah. It's Thank going to be you. terrific to have you here, and I've always wondered, again, as a fan, you know, and since the AHL's announced it's coming to Belleville, you kind of think of the relationship between the parent company and the AHL franchise. It's about winning games for you, but on the other hand, you've always got to have the Ottawa Senators' best interests in mind as well. How do you manage trying to win games on the ice here and keeping what the parent company wants in mind as well? Yeah, I mean, I wish I knew what the exact perfect formula was, but there isn't one, but you have to keep all three of those in mind. We want to win. We want to develop, and we want to make sure our players are ready for when they get that opportunity. And really, it just goes from one day to the next, and whatever takes precedent on that day is what we focus on. But it all really works together, and it all really comes together if you're on, if you're on, which is what we need to be. So really, we don't necessarily approach every day differently, but all three of those factor into every single decision we make every single day. Well, it could be said that you face challenges with, within your role that maybe they don't face at the parent level because uh, you know, you've know got to pay attention to what's coming up. You've got to pay attention to what's going from Bell to Ottawa. That's what makes the American Hockey League such a difficult league to be a coach in because you're not just focused on winning like the Ottawa Senators. I mean, they're focused on winning tomorrow and that's where all their energy goes. Right. It's not that way in the American Hockey League, but honestly, we want to win hockey games. Our expectations are that we're going to win hockey games. Coach Brandenburg. No. All right, Sean Donovan. You may remember a couple of minutes ago I mentioned I used to be a Leaf fan. Uh, I just don't remember losing any games or lose, so. No, <laughs> I would be remiss if I didn't let somebody take a shot at the Leafs while I was standing there with a microphone in my hand. Sean, uh, I mentioned earlier that you're in the player development end of this business. What are your responsibilities? Many of you hear from playing with different players, be it Mary Lemieux, Joel Sackett, Jopeter Forsberg, Jerome McGinley, and take that and try to help the young guys as much as I can uh, get to the level they want to get to. So I'm going to be in Belleville a lot for practice to help those kids. Uh, to, to do any kind of development to help them with whatever they need, be it video, 
Uh, I mean, coach has to worry so much about the NHL, and the good thing about my job is I've done it now for three years, and lots of the players that I've dealt with, the Thomas Shabbats and the Colin Whites and the Jaroses and the uh, Harpers, are you know now they're starting to make a transition into the uh, Belleville Senators and the Ottawa Senators, so it's it's fun, and I have a relationship with them now, so it's uh, it's fun to get to see them on their path, and now they're taking the next step, but it's also the personal satisfaction you must feel watching a player grow and graduate from one step to the next in their career, it's going to be satisfying. Yeah, I think that's the best part of my job is if any of the guys have success that I've dealt with, it's fun. I mean, last season was fun. Uh, at the World Juniors, you get to see Colin White and Thomas Shabbat. You know, they had a ton of success. They played each other in the finals. And uh, the deal with them and Thomas Shabbat ended up, uh, you know, winning the President's Trophy for the World Cup. And just being a part of that with them. But it's also an all the Cup. And Melvin Sanders being a big part of that. Terrific. Now, you made a point. I'm going to ask uh, Randy a question about the geography between Ottawa and Belleville. Because Sean's going to be making his way. Many in the organization are going to be bouncing between Ottawa and Belleville. How important is geography when it comes to having the Nova Center this year in the parent company in Well, it's great for us. We were four hours away from Houston, which is pretty good. And now we're going to be on the big over there. These guys might be on the ice, and they'll we'll walk over and give them the task and say, don't go too hard because you're going to be in a car service at 11 o'clock, and we're going to be at Ottawa at 1 o'clock. We're going to feed you, you're going to nap, and you're going to play at any time that night. And in the, the, the teams, there are some that have their affiliates close by, some that don't. And it's got to present some awful challenges, I would think, for teams that maybe don't have now the geographical luxury either. Well, definitely. It's hard to get players up. Sometimes right. you can't get them there. Uh, Rob was in St. John's. They have lots of issues. Our division is quite good. We're going to play Laval, which is much more than team. The Marlies, Rochester, Binghamton, Syracuse, and Utica. And that's our main division. That's a wonderful geographic. And that's great for these guys because they're in their beds more often, they get more practice days and more recovery days. It's kind of things that fans don't, don't typically think about. Real education, I didn't make my way back down the horn because talking about a player making their way up and down through the system. Um, and we turn to our players again. You guys have played at a variety of different levels of hockey. How does, let's say, the OHL or, um, you know, playing in, in Europe compare to the AHL? Let's start with you, Gary. Me, but it's also there to win. So you get it anyway, any age range from 20 to 24, and then you have a certain amount of older guys. So it's a very wide range of, uh, of Asian uh, youth and skill. And I find the biggest difference you'd say would almost just be the, uh, you know, competitive. I think the jump from the OHL or the NCAA, they kind of learn how, you know, the pro game works, then they get their call up to the auto, and then, you know, then they make their run from there. So I think it's a big, uh, part of the NHL is to have this system in place to get these players ready. Yeah, like the it brings it to a whole other level. You know, you have to play families. Um, it, it's, it's something that you don't experience in the NHL or in some other way. Um, the game's always fun. Um, you, know, you always play the game. Um, how competitive you work and how good it is. Mm, interesting. Um, now, we have some uh, questions that were submitted from the fans, we're going to get to them shortly, but first, I want to ask you this, Rob. Uh, you've worked in the AHL, Toronto, Montreal, Winnipeg, now Ottawa. Uh, what are your thoughts on the importance of a team being here in Belgium and Bay of It's, uh, I think at the end of the day, what I would describe to uh, the communities is that left communities. And I, I have that experience that this community has felt for the OHL team. And I just honestly believe the piece that a hockey team brings to your community is about pride. And we will do everything. We can tell the pride you're already taking in it, and you'll absolutely get that from our organization who will instill that in this community. I'll collect your thoughts on the in-game experience here shortly, but what I do want to let you fans know about, if you turn around, you're going to be the next best thing. You're facing that cutout with the Belleville Senators jersey on the picture. Don't forget those hashtags on there as well, it begins, and welcome home. Now, you're gonna qualify to win a jersey that way. I see a young couple's face in there right now, so make sure before you go, you do that, post it with the hashtag to qualify to win a jersey. How important is it for a player to play in the AHL before getting up to the pro level? We think it's very important. On our team now, 
Everybody but two players that played in our roster this year played in American Hockey League. One was Dion Phaneuf, and the other one was Thomas Shabbat, just because he couldn't go to American Hockey League. He didn't make Ottawa, he had to go back to junior. So that, that says how important it is. We think it's a great learning situation. We want guys to be in a position to win. The best thing about playing in Belleville is they get to work with our staff. Right? So Sean gets to work with them with, them with other teams as well, and with a college team or a junior team for a year. But once we get them under our wing, then our staff get to work with them. And these guys down here are the guys you get to see every day. I can introduce some of these guys. This is, yeah, Dylan Crawford is our full-time video coach. Stand up. Yeah, Dylan. Jerry Benwell is our full-time conditioning coach for Belleville Center. <laughs> this is Sean McCauley, our hockey operations coordinator from Ottawa. Yeah. Sean, same question. Uh, you're in the player development business, so it's got to be a massive step to go through the year before getting to the end. I think it's very important. Um, in Ottawa, I mean, we have a perfect example. A guy like Eric Carlson plays in American Hockey League, and uh, he turned out all right. Um, it's, it, it, it's a hard league, obviously, in the NHL, because it's unforgiving. So when you come in, you got to learn how to be a pro. Um, you know, lots of guys are coming out of school, junior, so you got to learn how to, you know, for junior kids, you almost have some of the dead billets, usually in junior, so now you got to learn how to do your clothes, manage your money, everything, and then you jump into a pro where now it's a, you're playing against men, and, you know, mistakes aren't forgiven. In the NHL, it's tough to break into, but, you know, it's great, Greg Conkley is a great league, it's very competitive. Um, so the guys come in, they learn how to play, how to be professional, so when they get, in, get into the league, it's an easy transition. There's very few guys, Connor McDavis, that are able to make that jump, but those are very few. Uh, even guys like Eric Carlson, like they say, played the easy American Hockey League, and, and it's helped them, and, and he would say that too. And, and, and you know, I, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, just to speak to another example, in the Stanley Cup playoffs, uh, the finals, I should say, Pittsburgh's team, I, I want to say they were 93% of their players that won that Stanley Cup, played in the American Hockey League at some point. Nashville, they were even higher, they were 97%. And they had the opportunity to watch. It's absolutely fantastic. Exciting stuff, and when we watch this team, we're going to watch them in the three-man yard and arena. Any updates on the arena? Yeah, so construction is continuing. There's, there's a lot of work to get done. Uh, it's, it's certainly a big undertaking in the time frame that we have. But the thing that we're excited about is what's being done there to give us a chance to give you, the fans, a great experience. A brand new video board, 150 person fan zone. We just announced last week a company called Spectra uh, who will uh, deliver our food and beverage experience. So we're working hard and hard every day. We get the experience that you're going to have is something you've never seen in this community before. It's at uh, the highest level, a professional level. Well, our, our goal is to do, honestly, but we're confident we're going to get there. So, Scott, coach, one more for you. Uh, for these folks here today, again, thank you for being here. This is a, uh, it's a fun event. So, let's get back to talking a bit of hockey. When this roster arrives. Yeah, so I'll tell you why. Because we're going to go to the Ottawa Senators training camp early September. And every one of our players is going to have the dream and the goal of being an uh, Ottawa Senator. But we've got plenty of good quality players that will be coming through our doors. Um, we've got a couple of them sitting right up here, and I've already told them, you know, we're kind of hoping that that's got a big O on it earlier in the season, because it would be just fine with us if we didn't see either of these two guys. <laughs> but, you know, there's young players like Frankie Perron that will be coming up. Um, We've got Dan Young, uh, Randy, you might have to help me out here with um, what we've got coming down the pipeline. We've got some good young players. Like you said, everybody's going to travel for the Ottawa team, but we've got 57 guys coming in. camp. We're only keeping 22 in Ottawa. Some guys will go back to juniors. And, open. and the best thing about what we like about it is every training camp, one or two guys surprise, and they take somebody's spot. And even though it looks like the positions are filled, which forces management to go and move a guy out and trade a guy because a young guy has just taken his job, and that's the business. Wow. What a journey we're on. This is just the next step. What we did as a part of this process, our radio stations, 95.5 Hits FM, Cool 100, invited fans to submit questions. And by doing that, everybody who did qualify to win one of the jerseys that you see these fellas up here wearing today. So the question that was submitted, and it's for uh, General Manager Randy Lee, what do you already know about the city of Melbourne? 
on a, on a deal with Big Tin, and that was going to be our fifth. Last year was our fifteenth year in Big Tin, New York, and we were very happy with that. But as the more and more I presented it to Sean, great for call-ups, great for send-downs. It was just a perfect fit. Roger Lajoie said, I remember when this was all just announced, there are now 11 professional hockey teams in Canada and one of them right here. And, and all you guys have a hand in that, and that's terrific. That question, by the way, was submitted by Bob Gallinger. And I'm not sure if Bob's here today. Is Bob here? Bob, I'm passing around the past four hour panelists today. Some of the key folks who have been the of this organization. Thank you guys for your insight. Congratulations. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do a draw for $500 in Quitty Mall Bucks. I hope, look at that drum. So what we're going to do is do the draw. We're going to pull a name out, $500 at the Quinn Inns. Welcome home. Use the hashtags. By doing that, posting the picture, you qualify to win a Bell Senators jersey as well. Oh, I bet you can. Little fella, yeah, he's gonna come on. He's wearing his brand new Belleville Senators T-shirt. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. All right, Kevin McKay. Is Kevin still here? Kevin McKay has got himself five hundred dollars in twenty mall dollars. We do appreciate all of you being okay. Make sure you take the time, Sparta Cat. Is also getting pictures done if you don't have yours already. And our players, Ben and Danny, are going to go over there and get some pictures and sign some autographs as well. There's some stanchions over there, and that's where you line up to get the pictures and the autographs from the boys. Thank you guys for being here and doing that. Thank you to the Quinny Mall. Thank you and have a great week.